Hey, it's me. Mr. Understand Me, man. Back at you, dog motherfucking and you dog niggas. Hey, look, man. Check this out, man. I'm here today, right now, to talk to you about how to be smart at Christmas time. Christmas time is a very emotional, uh, unstable, financially, and, um, you know, very dangerous and um, very uh, uh, good to some people. But it's bad to the ones that don't got it. So I'm going to tell you about this shit, man, because it's real, man. Everybody got to be real about who... You are when it comes down to Christmas, man. Are you a man or a mouse? Are you a woman or are you a winder? You know what I'm saying, me? Because it all boils down to this, man. Don't try to be too real at Christmas time. Because your ass will be in jail. And jail ain't a cool place where your ass need to be. You know what I'm saying, me? It's so cold in jail, man, and uncomfortable, man. It's not a cool motherfucking thing, man. But I'm going to tell you one little thing, man, real quick, man. On one topic, man, on how... Being too motherfucking real can get you killed. And, and I didn't even say, and I ain't gonna say this story is, is, is a story that is, somebody died in, but it's a real story. That's about two motherfuckers, man. A long time ago, man, I was in the pen, man. You feel me? With a nigga named Momo and a nigga named Greedy. You know what I'm saying, man? Momo was from Seaside and Greedy from, well, well, what's from, um, well, you know, I ain't even gonna say, man, because, you know, because Seaside, man, but the nigga was, the, Momo was from Seaside, way up north somewhere, and, 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 and Greedy was a real L.A. nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. He was down there, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get where be. But look, check this out. We in the pen, right? And Momo trying to be into a, the car with, the, with, with, the, with all the rest of the, you know, young fellas. He trying to be in the game, which, you know, any young nigga's supposed to. So he's trying to put out his hood, which his hood ain't really known for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Because they way in Timbuktu somewhere, way up north, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but hey, I don't know these niggas, I don't know. They handle their business because the nigga in jail. The nigga in jail, he must have came here for a reason. You feel me? So he was the stepper, though. He was handling business, squabbling up and all this old shit. But Greedy was running around, you know, booking motherfuckers for the weed. You know what I'm saying, man? You know, uh, on this person, on that person, you know, and just didn't really give a fuck. But Greedy didn't give a fuck about life. And Momo wanted to be that real nigga and, you know, show off that. Oh, man, certain niggas need to get their issue on this and this and that. But, you know, it's a real nigga, and then it's a nigga that don't give a fuck about life. And sometimes real nigga got a little bit of that in them, too, and that's, and that's the truth, you know what I'm saying, me? But at the end of the day, man, it boiled down to this, man. Look, Greedy, man, they, they, they politicked on Greedy, man. Greedy had to get up out of the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? He had to get up out of the dorm, man, you feel me? And, um... Greedy had already had got smashed by some young comp niggas before, tipped up because he stole niggas Pruno. You feel me? So Greedy was one of them type of niggas, <laughs> you know. He so he went all that uh squabbled up and comp niggas whooped on him. Then um next thing you know my nigga Greedy, you know he shit man it's party game. He swept that off nigga like this ain't nothing because you know that's the nigga he is. You know because he way to squabble up head to head, but he just didn't catch that help so head or squabble that night that day. So make a long story short, him and Momo. Ended up not seeing eye to eye on certain issues all the time because they was both the same type of character. But they just didn't like each other. You know what I'm saying? Because they fell out on some bullshit. The next thing you know, politics came, like I said before, on, um, on Greedy. My nigga Greedy had to, you know, lights got turned off, man. Shit got a little dark, you feel me? And, uh, man, niggas rushed Greedy, man. And Momo was the head nigga that rushed Greedy. You know what I'm saying? But Greedy pulled out a big ass knife. Got to chase Momo all around the motherfucking door. You know what I'm saying? Poking that nigga best. Ah, you know what I'm saying? My nigga even bad. Hey, look, man. I don't know how he got up out the door, man, but he got up out the dorm through the door, man, through the police, man. Even police don't even know how the nigga got out. You, <laughs> you understand me? But I guess when you get poked by and you ask for that shit, then you, you would go through anything. But anything, make a long story short, like I said it before. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to be too real, putting his hand up on every mission. You know what I'm saying? And putting your hand up on every mission ain't always cool. I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do and shit happens. But he was putting his hand up for every mission trying to be too motherfucking real. And too motherfucking real got his ass poked and ran up out the motherfucking uh, the, the dorm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, anybody would have ran from a knife. I ain't knocking that because I ain't going to lie to the nigga, man. The nigga was, he was a down nigga. I, I give him that. But what I'm saying to the young niggas nowadays, Trying to be too real out there. That real shit, man, that nigga, that shit gonna get your ass hurt. So fall back, man.
Alright, all that, man. Cause you don't want to be a Momo, man. Cause Momo got popo. You understand me? Cause Greedy wasn't playing. You understand? Know Greedy was one of them niggas that come out the cell, man. He didn't even comb his own motherfucking head. Niggas look at you like, nigga, where the weed at, nigga? Well, who the next nigga we can rob, nigga? I, I got a fake motherfucking green dot and a, and a, and a, and a bullshit PayPal, nigga. Uh, nigga, let's do something. I'm like, God damn, what is the greedy boy? Some niggas called a nigga trash, but I knew that nigga didn't give a fuck. And I knew he was down. Then some other niggas went and cracked off with a ride, so I knew that nigga was gonna be down. And he showed it off when niggas tried to attack his ass. He put out a big ass blade like that and got the oh, and niggas, you understand me? But uh, anyway, man, so. I'm going to get back to this, you know, second story about people right now. There's people out there with their EDD money still. Man. And there's people that ain't got their EDD money. They already blew the shit. And so let me tell you all the motherfuckers out there that's stunned with EDD money. Shut your motherfucking mouth. Act like you ain't got shit going on. Because at the end of the day, motherfuckers is plotting and scheming on y'all motherfuckers, man. And the shit ain't cool because you got motherfuckers close to you all in your business. You think you're looking out for them. You can put them on. They ran through their, 10, their little 10 racks or whatever they just got. And they ain't looking at you like, bitch, you, I know, or nigga, I know you still on, nigga. Woo -wah, woo -wah. And nigga, they plotting and scheming. And then next thing you know, they ask you for, they ask you for $4 and you say, Say no. What? No? Nigga, you can't say no to me after you just gave me 10 and I know you then. I hooked you up with Boo Boo and JoJo and, 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 and Ra Ra and all them niggas got cars and I they, they blessed you with all your money. So I know you got $40 for me. Nigga, saying no to a person and they know you got $40, nigga, you can create an enemy. You can create an enemy. So all that shit with motherfuckers, well, you know what I'm saying, the have-nots and the people that got it, man, everybody, the people that got it need to secure their money and shut the fuck up and be around people that they know won't do them no harm. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to help them build their money instead of just taking from them with the money that they came up on. You know what I'm saying? And then, thirdly, man, shut your motherfucking mouth, man, about your motherfucking money. Don't be playing. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers out here killing people for their motherfucking money. You know what I'm saying? Look, it's another thing, man. I got my folks out there in um, uh, motherfucking Sacramento, man. You know what I'm saying? My folks tell me, hey, look, man, 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 they done broke into my motherfucking bitch house, man. She had a little EDD shit cracking, man. They broke in her shit, man. They took all her motherfucking shit. I'm like, what? Like, she was talking, huh? Yeah, me and my bitch was out there loose, man, you know, drinking at the park and shit, talking to all these niggas and thinking that she was some, you know, in a position to where she she had to look out for other niggas and other niggas, man, and, and she done looked out for everybody, but at the same time, she was looking out for some bums. Some people was hustlers, some of them wasn't, but some of them was like this. Bitch, I know you done made over 50, 60,000 around this motherfucker, so I know you can help me. So when a motherfucker tell you, hey, hey, baby, can you help me for me? You might well put him on this weed sack with me, baby. Nigga, you know what? Nah, that nigga about to book you. Nigga, what nigga right now hustling, getting a million dollars off some motherfucking, you know, making a million dollars off of this and this and that, making making killing off of this and that. Yeah, man, some niggas out there don't get it twisted, but I'm telling you, man, if a nigga ask you for more money out of your motherfucking ass, that should raise up some motherfucking signs right there that he ain't really making it as he used. You know what I'm saying? He got he running to some bumps in the road. But if that's your nigga. Go ahead and bless the nigga. But if he's just this average nigga, man, you out there just, you know, uh, niggas out there talking to bitches and niggas, uh, bitches talking to niggas. Man, motherfuckers is plotting and scheming on each other, man. It's Christmas time. Motherfuckers hungry out there. You understand me? My understand me, people, man. My OG goddess, man. My OG cafe peoples, man. My organic goddess people, man. Y'all stay focused, man. Hold your money, man. Don't tell nobody about your shit. Stay fuck quiet, man. You understand me? Because niggas is out there broke, man. And they'll book your motherfucking ass. That part right there. So, I'm going to just tell people, at the end of the motherfucking day, if you, this is the third thing we're going to talk about. If your dog ass in a motherfucking house with a, with a, with a bra and you ain't on the leash, nigga, make some motherfucking peace. You understand me? Don't be arguing and all that shit, man. Get your ass up and clean the fuck up, nigga. It's Christmas time. And nigga, especially if you ain't bought no presents and run nothing under, under the Christmas tree and shit. Nigga, you better be quiet, nigga. Clean up the house, nigga. Dig her down real good, nigga. Don't be talking no shit. When she start talking shit, you fall back. Say, hey, baby, don't even trip. Man, you better go call her home and tell her come give you some weed or something, nigga. Front just weed and smoke some weed with this bitch. Calm her down with a little bit of yak and tell her homie you get him back. You know what I'm saying? Be, be 
Because the shit real out there, nigga, and it's cold outside, nigga. Hey, cold, nigga. Pay your bills if you got it, nigga. Go broke on paying your bills, nigga. Don't be no fool, nigga. Pay your bills, nigga. Because it's better to pay your rent first, nigga, and have a roof over your head. So when it gets cold outside, nigga, you can cuddle the fuck up. You understand me? Don't play no games, nigga. It's fucked up all right, right now out here, nigga. Coronavirus still popping, nigga. You understand me? So look, I'm going to tell you niggas, man. One thing. I'm going to question all you niggas right now. In this day and age, right now, man, to all the young niggas, man, even old niggas, man, if a motherfucker told you, man, right now, this is the biggest question ever right now, it's Christmas time, if a motherfucker told you, man, this, like, man, they, your partner got a job over here on the left side, man, and he's saying, man, y'all might have to hit a corner for about three, four days, there's gonna be a little bit of truck driving, a little bit of uh, cleaning up material, a little bit of uh, drywalling, and a little bit of this and this and that. But we're going to come back with about, about, about 10,000, man, for this job, man. You know what I'm saying, me? And um, we're going to be back by Christmas Eve, you know? And you like, shit. Man, for sure? Yeah, we're going to split We're gonna split the 10 racks. Five dollars a piece. And that's only a three-day job, man. You understand me? So now, you know, and now you're like, damn, I really don't be working and sweating and better. And I got to be gone and shit. But, hey, that's five. That's five racks. But then your other homie on the right call you. And he say, nigga, I got a lick, nigga. 100,000, nigga. 100,000, nigga, for sure. All we got to do is go in there and tie these motherfuckers up and do this and do that, nigga. And, nigga, we on, nigga. We're going to be popping, nigga, having big money on our ears and all that shit, nigga. We ever going to throw a video the next day, nigga. And then New Year's is going to be cracking. We're going to quit the club out, nigga. It's going to be coronavirus styles party, nigga. Up there, we're going to be popping. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? And my nigga, you know, my nigga up there in the Oakland, nigga, they got the Maseratis, nigga, for dirt cheap, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We get well about 10, 10 thousand. You know what I'm saying, man? So your mind racing back and forth, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Cause you like a hundred thousand, nigga, to this five thousand, and I only gotta go hit this lick. It's only gonna take uh, about a, you know an hour or whatever, and we pass for a hundred racks. Me and a couple of partners. Oh, I can just go do this safe lick for about three days. I'm back home, and I got five racks in my pocket. But damn, the homies, they might, I might go there, and they might pass, and I'm going to be mad because I got five racks in my pocket, and they niggas working with 20, 30,000 in their pocket. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to tell you one thing about this right now. It's the do's and the don'ts and the decisions of life. Um, You can face a lot of time fucking with the right, fucking with the homies. You can fucking... You got a lot of time, you know what I'm saying, me? You might, might go on a home invasion, looking at 25 years of life. Or you can go, and it's a 50-50. You might pass on that lift. You might just pass on a lift, and you might be good. But it's a 50% chance that your ass might lose, and you might go to the pen. And you got this for show money that you got to be gone three days. You're going to come back dirty with your ass thinking and all that, but you're going to wash. But look, you're going to come back home to the baby. Chip off her ass, pay some bills, buy some kids for the, buy some presents for the kids and all that other shit, you know. And still keep you about two thousand in your pocket and grab your little sack or do whatever, but however you plan, whatever you plan to do. But you be safe and you know that your family guaranteed to see your ass again when you fucking with the left side with your partner, all right? But then if you go and you pass, like I said, you might just pass, but you might not. 50% chance. But it's a 100% chance that for sure you're going to get this 100,000. It's a 100% chance that for sure you're going to get this 100,000. But it's a 50% chance or 85% chance that you might not get this 100,000 with your homies. But one thing for sure, if your ass get caught, you your ass go to jail. For sure, baby going to be like this. This dumb nigga went to jail. The kids here. They ain't got no presents and shit. My mama and them got to get presents and they talking about this dumb ass nigga. You should let this dumb ass nigga be stupid. Why the fuck you can take that job and be back home Christmas Eve and sprinkle the, sprinkle the, you know, the love that, uh, you know, the money that God blessed them with for working hard and blessing the house. $5,000 is a good, good amount of money in for three days. When they get dumb ass like that, they do that dumb ass shit. I told this stupid motherfucking ass, you know, that Baby was coming along and shit. He the man, so now I believe he's going to do it. He's going to do it. But if you went to jail, got caught up. Now you're sitting in motherfucking jail, fighting a lifetime for a robbery, home invasion. And 
Yeah, you pussy on hot. And for sure, she know your ass in jail with no bail. Ooh, and she know for sure the kids is late night sleep. Near Christmas Eve. And that nigga keep DMing her all the time that she ain't never spoke to her about. And she finally asked that motherfucker because pussy stayed on that motherfucker. And she was knocked out. And she gonna treat this nigga in on Christmas Eve like he's Santa Claus with a good pussy. And you been calling all day. And she ain't got no money on the phone because she ain't set it up yet. And now, your story, you know, you living as a mother in town. Nigga, little daddy about to move in and take your ass home. Don't be a fool. So sometimes it's decision making is a motherfucker. Sometimes you're going to have to just take that ride up, up the hill, man. Go work hard and sweat for that 5000 instead of risking your life for that 100000 Hey, I'm just under misunderstanding me, man. I'm just telling you the motherfucking real. I'm not going to bullshit you, man. I've been there, done that, man. And I'm going to tell you like this, man. It, it, <laughs> the left side is better, you know what I'm saying? And I know the motherfucking right side is shinier, but look. Sometimes that shininess can get your ass caught the fuck up. And it's better to be cool, sit down with the family during this Christmas time, you know what I'm saying, with a little something, than crying out in jail, looking at all day, supposed to be the big something. I must understand me, man. OG Cafe, which is organic guys, and that's all I got for you. Hey, love yourself, love your family, and make the right decision during Christmas time. Don't be a fool.